In this video, we are going to go over how to use Remind to connect with your students and families. Remind is a messaging program that is a secure way to use your phone without sharing your phone number to message with your students and families. So it protects you and is a way to connect with your families and students without sharing any phone numbers. So this is the Remind website that shares some information about the program, that it is that secure two-way messaging, and it's all within the Remind website, or you can use the Remind app. So you'll log in with Google, and then this is what it looks like to create a class. You'll give it a name, and then it creates a class code. You can use theirs or you can create your own as long as it's not taken. There is a part to tell it whether or not you are using it with students under 13, which will require a parent email. Then this is the main page where you will send messages. It will log all of your messages that you send or that students or parents send back to you. So at the top, there's that files menu. You can select your class and then choose different options for sending files. It's nice, it connects to Google, so you can send files from Google Drive or Google Classroom. So you'll just need to allow it the first time to talk to your classroom, and then it, once it's connected, it will bring up your classroom and then any assignments that you've posted. So you can send an assignment reminder directly through Remind as a text message to your students or your parents, which is a really great feature to just send a quick reminder, hey, we have this assignment coming up. And all of your messages will be on that right side. So you can click send message and that ability to add a file will always be there on the right side for Google Drive or Google Classroom. So you can type in a message. This will send to all the people that you have added to your class. It can be any sort of reminder, like for permission slips, things like that. There is a great translate feature in Remind. You might have seen that pop up right there underneath the message as I was typing it in. Show one more example, just typing in a quick message and you can send it again. So all those messages um, show up and save on the right side as like a conversation. So under the people tab, this is where all of the people will show up in your classroom. You can add people a couple different ways to your classroom. This is the add people help page. There's a lot of great information here on how to add people to your remind. And the link for this article is available in the description below. You can copy and paste that into a URL address bar and get access to this article. So on the left side here, once you click add people, you can see that there's a couple ways. Um, Remotely, the easiest way is probably going to be the share link, and you can bring that up as an email. So emailing out your families or students and having them uh, just accept the link in their email would probably be the easiest way. Or you can, if you know the emails, you can um, just type them in or phone numbers, typing them in directly. Under settings, there's a couple important features that you may want to check or uncheck, like approval to join. That might be something that you want to make sure is checked. And then for message options. So role-based is the default that allows students to reply to each other and parents to reply to each other. You may want to turn that off so that students and parents can only reply to you. Again, this protects the phone numbers so they don't get each other's phone numbers, they don't get your phone number. They can reply within the program though, within Remind, and you may want to keep that off so that students aren't messaging each other within Remind. There's one last feature that I wanted to share that Remind has put together this nice um, webpage on remote learning with Remind and support with learning from home. The link for this is also down in the description, which you can copy and paste and put in the address bar. So check out Remind to connect with your students and families.